In this video, we're going to focus on how we can color the specific x-axis grid line here or the baseline, which is the zero value, while removing these or giving them a different color. So they're both options are possible. So let's start to explore how we can do that. So let's start to look how to show only the x-axis zero grid line in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started this specific link which you can find as well in your description box and we're going to grab here the border template so you're just going to grab this entire chunk of code copy this if you want to understand this code watch this video here that explains it all i'll we'll just paste that in there cut out this and put that in here save refresh let's maximize the size of this Say here 80% say refresh. There we are. So what we want to do here is to have some negative numbers. So let's say here minus 12, not a minus 12 and a minus 9. Save refresh. As you can see here, now we have this zero baseline on the X scale that we want to highlight. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, let's go down here and we go into the X scale area and here we're going to say grid and what we will do here very straightforward we'll say display false save that refresh and the reason why we do this is because we want to remove all the lines that are related to the grid that goes vertical because basically how they look at it the x scale here the grid lines are connected to this scale here which goes up or which are basically vertical and they are all remove because I want to grab this one here but this one is attached to the Y scale so in the Y scale we have to work on that however if you look here very carefully you will see that this line is slightly darker than the other lines and the reason why is there is like a border drawn at the very edge of the chart area so what I want to do is I want to remove that as well so I say draw border equals false save and I'll pay attention on the color here refresh you can see the color has become far more lighter all right, so now we have this. What we can do is the same here. We need to remove the border side here on the Y scale. So we're going to say here grid. Say here, draw border. Put that on false. Oh, and it doesn't work because I forgot a comma here. Make sure you have a comma there. There we are. So now we remove the border here. And next, what we want to do here is to change the color of this. And what we really want to do is if it's zero, if it's this tick here, we can make this baseline a dark color and everything else we'll just make it transparent so what we're going to do here in the y scale we put a comma here and then we're going to assign your color and i'm going to use a callback functionality here by saying context and then the function arrow expression now we have access to the deeper part of the grids and all i want to do now is to first show you what is in the context if we do console or context refresh, you will see here now we don't show any color. That's correct because the color has not been defined. So we have to return a value and we didn't return a value. So it assumes it is transparent or none. So, but if I open up the console log to find here, you can see here the information we get of all these objects here. And you can see here it loads twice because we have a scale on this side and on the other side. However, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, that will have no impact for us because it's not visible. However, this here is the most important. You can see here the index number that we want, but we don't want to work with index number. What we need is the value specifically, and the value that we're looking for is the zero value, which if we look very carefully is index number three, but we can say your value equals zero. So what I want to do here, because if I would do just a return and I'll just say return blue, save refresh you can see here we get now the blue lines but of course that's not what i want what i want to do here is we'll say here only for the baseline so what i want to do here create an if statement we say here context and let me just show you how do we get there again from the object we go into tick and from tick we go to value so it's a contact dot tick dot value equals strict zero if this is true, in that case, I want to show it blue or any color. Let's save that, refresh, 
And now you can see this works. Of course, let's test it. What will happen if I move this up or down or I change the values? So let's say we have now instead of this, we do minus 1000 or 1200. And if I refresh, you can see here, even though the entire chart has changed and the baseline has changed of the x-axis, you can see here still this becomes blue. It will recognize it in uh, where the position is because of this filtering of our if statement here. We could make this green or anything. You can see here, we can still give it a proper color. Of course, if you would say, well, you want to maintain all others, we can do an else statement and then we say return the default value, which is an RGBA 102, 102, 102, 0 0.2. And if we save that, refresh, there we are. And that's basically how you can play around with these colors here. So if you like this video and maybe you want to have, for example, smaller lines here between, in that case, we can customize that as well. In that case, I will recommend you this video on how to add short grid lines on the X scale in chart.js where we have these tiny lines here. 